Hello guys, welcome to OS X86 Devs. Today we want to bring you a video about how to create a Mojave DMG installer using the Mojave app file that we can download from the App Store and we are going to make a DMG installer from that one uh, in which we are going to install Clover on. So the first thing we have to do is that we have to go to the App Store then we have to go to search and type Mojave We can see that is the first option, the one that says macOS Mojave in Utilities. We are going to click on View, and then we're going to click on Get. Uh, we get a message that says macOS Mojave. Are you sure you want to download macOS Mojave 10.14.2? We're going to click on Download, and it's going to start downloading the app file it's about six uh, gigabytes in size now uh, remember that the reason why this is good to do it is because if we want to create a DMG file that we can use as an installer for a specific computer then this is the best way to do it because we're going to install Clover onto the DMG file that way we can just restore the DMG file in Windows using applications such as Transmac and once we have installed Clover to the DMG file we're going to be able to add any configuration that we want to the config files we're going to be able to add a specific text in there for example if your computer needs and a specific keyboard and touchpad text then you can add that one so you don't have to use an external keyboard and mouse the same way we can add different text for example some computers need to have uh, some specific video text for them to start and some others don't but if your computer is one of those that need those specific files then you have to uh, follow this process then you can create an, a specific installer uh, we're doing this process right now on a Lenovo laptop this is a Hackintosh computer but you can follow this process the same way while using Windows all you have to do is to install virtual machine or virtual box so that you can uh, create a virtual machine and install Mac OS Mojave or any other version on it to follow that process I'm going to be posting a guide soon you can find the video in our channel which is going to show you how to create a virtual machine in which we're going to install Mojave or possibly another version of the Apple operating system. Uh, the point is just to have that virtual machine created so we can follow all of the process in this video. So once the installer finishes downloading, it's going to open uh, the installer. Uh, we just have to close the installer. We just have to close system preferences and then we close app store too. We have to go to launchpad. We have to type disk. Now we're going to go to file, new image, blank image just type any name I'm going to call it Mojave installer and the second one is just going to be Mojave I'm going to save it in the desktop for the size you have to type 7 GB where it says format you have to just choose Mac OS extended journal encryption has to be set as none the partition has to be single partition GUID partition map and the image format has to be set as read and write disk image now we're just going to click on save now remember that for the next process we must have the Mojave app that we downloaded from the app store it has to be in the application folder okay now that this gets a little finished just click on done and let's go to finder now let's just go to applications and as you can see here is my installer for microwave Mojave so I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to go to show package contents then I'm going to go to the contents folder then I'm going to go to resources now we're going to go to launchpad and we're going to go to other and then we're going to go to terminal we're going to type sudo sudo now we're just going to drag and drop the create install media file from the resources folder to the terminal. 
as you can see it just added some directories now we're just going to type dash dash volume lowercase letters and a space now we're just going to drag and drop this device that is in the desktop that is called Mojave this is the device that is part of the blank image we just created you can eject this one like any other device and when you double click on the Mojave installer image it's going to mount that device so we're just going to drag and drop this one to the terminal and you're going to see that it added some code so all we have to do now is to hit enter and then we're going to type in the password it's gonna tell us that it needs to erase the volume we have to type Y to continue with the installation and then we're going to hit enter or return for now we can just close this resources folder and as you can see it just finished we have to download Clover and once you have downloaded Clover um, we have to open the installer if it's the first time you're opening this application uh, since it's downloaded from the internet it's going to tell you that it's not from an identified developer so it's not going to let you so all you have to do is that you have to go to system preferences then to secure and privacy and you're going to see where it says allow apps downloaded from when you open the Clover app it's going to give you a message here and it's going to say open anyway so just click on that and it's going to open so in the Clover installer just click on continue then click on continue once again once again and then go to change install location remember that this one is part of the Mojave installer that we have on the desktop and if we eject it it's going to be unmounted and, it, and when we double click on it it's going to show once again so you have to make sure that you're installing in the right place uh, so you don't overwrite any of your other drives we're just going to click on continue and we're going to click on customize and we're going to select the first two options Clover for UEFI booting only and install Clover in the ESP remember that this specific process is for computers that have UEFI biases now if your computer doesn't have one then you have to select different options you can create the installer the same way but you have to customize Clover in a different way so we're just going to select APFS driver loader 64 and APTIO memory fix 64 um, once we have selected those four options we're going to go to install we're going to type our password and click on install software as you can see it just mounted the FE partition all we have to do now is to open this partition and go to the FE folder go to Clover and as you can see we have the necessary files here to be able to boot the computer here's the boot file we're going to add in the kext folder we're going to go to other and we're going to add some kext uh, just for the computer to be able to start the installation um, all we need for this uh, for the Lenovo G5080 is the whatever green the little text and the fake SMC also we're going to add Apple PS2 a smart touchpad uh, because that way you don't have to use a keyboard and mouse because it's going to support the touchpad and keyboard that it's in your laptop uh, that is if you don't have an external one and you don't want to use it now if you don't have a problem doing that then it's best to just not add anything and remember you have to add a specific stuff for your computer uh, you cannot just add any other kex because if you add a kex that the computer doesn't need or doesn't support it possibly just going to give you kernel panics and you might not even understand why so yeah uh, with this kex that we just added we're going to be able to boot the computer for you to be able to use this in a USB all you have to do is that you have to um, copy this Mojave installer DMG file you have to restore that with the Transmac application for that you can use the guide in our YouTube channel which is called how to create a high Sierra USB installer in Windows even if it says for high Sierra it doesn't matter because all you're going to do is just to restore the DMG file so you can follow exactly the same process also you have to remember that once you restore this Mojave installer DMG file your computer is going to create an FE partition on the USB so that way it's going to have the bootloader already in there with all the files that we just added so for example if we 
eject these devices right now we can still just go to terminal we have to type disk util list and it's going to list all of the devices that we have in our computer since the only one that has found is the one where I have Mojave installed it's not going to show anything else but when we double click on the Mojave image and we run the same code again you're going to see that it's going to give you another device which is this one that says Apple HFS install Mac OS Mojave uh, now all you have to do to be able to mount that every partition to add different files is to type sudo mkdir space slash volumes slash efi remember you have to type it exactly the way i'm doing it i'm going to leave the codes in the description so that you can just follow that from there if you can see it clearly here or if you want to copy it so then you have to type sudo once again mount underscore msdos space slash dev slash and now we have to type the identifier of the partition we want to mount since the partition that we want to mount is the every partition and it says here in the identifier that is disk 2 s1 then we have to type in here disk 2 s1 then a space a slash volumes a slash efi and we're going to hit enter then it's going to ask for our password and we're going to type it and hit enter and it's going to mount the every partition so we can just go to the every folder now to the clover folder and just go to kegs and other and just add any any kegs that you want if you forget to add one or you want to remove one so that's it for today guys i hope you liked this video i hope it was useful for you remember to leave comments in our channel to tell us if you liked our videos and what we can do to make it better because we can only continue what we're doing if we know that you guys like the work if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel please do so and don't forget to click on the notification bell to keep up to date with our next videos if you have a request for some kind of video you can leave your comment and we're going to see if we can do that so thank you and goodbye